Microsteps allow for access to an increased resolution of note placement. This is great for creating strumming effects, re-triggers, aka ratchets, as well as taking things off the grid. Pressing Microsteps takes us to our Microstep edit page. The six leftmost pads on the top row of the play area represent the Microsteps for the currently selected step. To add Microsteps, first we'll select the step we want to add the Microsteps to, and then we can use this grid here to select which notes we want added. To delete those notes, we'll just hold down clear after selecting the step and remove them from the Microstep edit page. Or if we want to re-trigger the same note, we can hit duplicate and duplicate that Microstep within this step. Microsteps can also be edited as the sequencer is running. Press the step, hit duplicate, place them around. Microsteps are also a great way to take things off of the grid. Removing the note from the very beginning will add a swung or late feeling step. You can go ahead and duplicate that step around. Clear that, we'll duplicate this one here. Or say we want to move this one. We'll duplicate this step to here, clear it from there, and then duplicate the step as a whole. 